Hello everybody, I hope all of you are doing okay. It's June the 23rd, it is half past four when I'm filming this video, and I've just been at a webinar from AQA. So what I did was, along with about 1800 other teachers, we had um, a chance to find out from AQA about the GCSEs which are coming up. Now, don't forget, of course, that you can find loads over at GCSE Physics Online. I've got hundreds of videos to support your physics course, and also you can subscribe to me on YouTube to see even more good stuff. But I'm going to talk about the exams, and at the moment, there is a lot that we don't know. Now, the thing is, this isn't anybody's fault, it's there's a kind of a rapidly changing situation, and there are other people within the government who are, I suppose, in charge of the exams. You've got the Department for Education, you've got Ofqual, you've got JCQ, and I suppose under them, you've got the different exam boards. So you've got OCR, Edexcel, and AQA in England, and then I guess you've got WJC, SIA, various different other exam boards. Now, what we were looking at was what's going to happen in 2021, and to be honest, we don't know. And that's coming from AQA. As soon as they find out, they let people like me and other teachers know, so that the teachers can actually plan accordingly for all the students like you when you're going back to school. So um, these are some of my notes. I took them uh, during the meeting. Um, Basically, so far, uh, I think a lot of you, if you're in year 10, will have missed about 40 days of school. Um, if you're in year 11, obviously your exams were cancelled and you're going to be getting teacher or centre assessed grades. Now, if you're in year 11 and you're watching this, <clears throat> there's a chance to do exams in the autumn term. We don't know what day this is going to be, but the format is going to be the same as your exams would have been in summer 2020. And the reason for this is that the exams which have been made for the summer 2020 exams, they're going to be the exams used in the autumn term. So what does that mean? That means that all of the topics that you've been learning about throughout uh, year 9, year 10 and year 11, all of the topics could come up and the exams are going to be in the same format that you're used to. So that might be paper 1 and paper 2. And uh, yeah, basically, if you're thinking about... Um, doing an exam in the autumn, perhaps if you're in year 11, and the grade that you get from your teachers or from your centre, if that isn't the grade that you think you are capable of, then you get another chance to have a go at these exams in the autumn term. You'd probably get your results around about Christmas time, New Year, and going forward, it would only be your highest mark that you put forward in the future. So say, for example, you were given a grade 6 for your GCSEs, but you were aiming for a 7 or an 8, you can have a go at getting that grade. And if you were to then get a 7, that would be the grade that you go forward with. So that's going to happen in the autumn term. But again, when I find out more information, I'll put a video out about that. So what's the exam going to be like in 2021? Um, we don't know. Uh, your teachers don't know. And the exam boards don't know. But what's happening in a few weeks' time is there's going to be a consultation between Ofqual and teachers to think about what is the best way forward. So there's a load of different uh, ways that this might end up. It might be, as was suggested the other day in the news, that maybe your exams are slightly later in the school year. So that means rather than doing them in May and June, it might be that your exams are in June and July. Then obviously that does mean there's a bit of a tighter turnaround for them to get marked, but that's one option. So that leaves a bit more time in school for teaching. So that would be um, quite a good option because I expect a lot of you might have missed a lot of content recently. Other things they may be thinking about are, are there bits of the curriculum that we can take out? What are we teaching at GCSE, which isn't really important and doesn't need to be assessed? And at the moment, uh, that's something they're looking at. But I think the, I, th I suppose the strong thing that lots of people are thinking of at the moment is that everything is there for a good reason. And the science curriculum is really important because it prepares people to uh, maybe finish their GCSEs and then go into society. Or it also helps people get prepared for the A-level sciences. And that means it's very hard to find out which bits you don't include. Um, I suppose something that uh, I suspect is going to happen is that the exams in 2021... They're going to be fairly similar to the exams that have been previously. And there's basically assessment objectives that you get tested on. Now, if you just know lots and lots of facts, that doesn't mean that you're going to do very well at GCSE. Because uh, although you need to learn about certain things, um, a lot of the actual exam is about your ability to approach new problems. And we call this assessment objective two or three. And this is maybe your way to actually approach uh, looking at some data, your mathematical approach, you're applying your knowledge to new situations. And that's going to be the same going forward into whichever exams you're going to be doing. 
Now, at the moment, when you're at home, it's quite easy to do a lot of AO1, which is actually learning facts. So that means you can watch my videos, you can see other people's videos, you can read a bit of a textbook, and you start to learn facts. Hopefully, when you get back to school, that's the time that your teachers can really help you prepare for actually applying your knowledge into new situations, about thinking about the best way to do practical work, the best way to get data, and the best way to use your new understanding of the science to maybe answer different questions um, that aren't always obvious immediately. So that's gonna happen still in the future. But to be honest, um, there are a lot of unknowns, but that is fine, because I think all of us are in the same position. And there's actually a real incentive at the top to kind of work out what's gonna happen in the future. That means your teachers can prepare whatever's gonna happen when you come back to schools in September. So basically, uh, I'm gonna keep making videos uh, to help support you. I'm gonna be doing a lot more past papers. As soon as I find out anything about your exams, I will let you know. Um, and obviously your teachers are gonna find out about it and they will let you know as well. Uh, something that I'm gonna put a link to beneath this video are some resources that AQA have produced. Um, these ones here, they actually, they're called uh, Focus on Success GCSE Science. I'll put a link below. Now these are designed for teachers, but actually there's a load of stuff there that if you're a, a well-motivated student, as I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, you can have a go at doing some of this work yourself. There's some stuff there about extra guidance on doing practical questions. There's some extra guidance on doing AO2. So that's how you can apply your new knowledge to unfamiliar contexts. And there's also some stuff there about data and in the future some more stuff about maths and science. And these are the really important skills that you need to master because to get from that kind of grade six to a grade seven or to go from a grade eight to a grade nine, you've not just got to know facts, you've got to be able to apply your knowledge and be really good at the maths. So I'll put a link to that beneath the video. But until next time, until I find out a bit more, until the exam board find out a bit more, uh, make sure that you just keep doing whatever you can, stay safe, and I hope all of you are doing well uh, in this kind of crazy kind of COVID-19 crisis. So until next time, thank you very much.